Good afternoon. My name is Guido. Uh, I'm um, uh, I am the safety engineer of TechnoSky, that is a, a technology branch of Vino, that is the Italian air navigation service provider. Uh, today, the speech is about a very important topic: is the safety and security assessment of ATM services and efficient methodology. Methodology that has been applied in Italy in a, in a very important project that is called Eureka. Okay, first of all, setting the problem. Uh, we know that there are a lot of regulations, a lot of requirements and guidelines that the service providers have to implement. Okay, and in a very few words, the problem is that we have to manage the technical and the operative safety and security. So only a brief overview of these terms. The safety, as we know, is about the whole life cycle of systems, of procedures, and also of the, um, the human factor. In particular, safety is intended as the safe realization of design, development, maintenance, and operativity of air navigation services. While the security is about the protection, and security of services is achieved defending the relevant assets from unauthorized assets, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, perusal, inspection, reporting, or destruction. So, the problem is how to manage this aspect. But the difficulty is that, uh, as we know, in order to provide the air navigation service, uh, we have to manage the, the strong interaction between the equipment, the people, and the procedure. Okay, in this slide, we have only a um, highly architecture of the main Italian air control center that is placed in Rome. No? And uh, as you can see, for example, from the point of view of the equipment, we have the support system, the processing data system, and the infrastructure system. But the problem is also that we have a very high number of equipment that we have to assess, that we have to control. And only in the Rome ACC, we have about 18,000 equipment. While, for example, at national level, we have um, about uh, half a million equipment. So, which is the solution? How can we assess, control the situation from the point of view of people, equipment, and procedure? And, and the problem is also, which is the real target that we have to reach? Which is the, the real goal? The solution that is provided by INA is called Eureka methodology. And, okay, of course, this is a very simple graph, but I will use it in order to show you the methodology. Please note that the target of Eureka is not uh, only the assessment, it's the resilience, because we want to know if our services are resilient. What does this mean? Um, starting from the Euro control definition, the resilience is the intrinsic ability of a system to adjust its functioning prior to, during, or following changes and disturbances so that it can sustain the required operation, ensuring safety and security. And this is the point. Under both expected and unexpected conditions. Um, in other words, we don't have only to assess. We have two important questions. Okay. First of all, what can go wrong? This is the first problem. But second is, if something goes wrong, how can our services reach another safe and secure state? Okay, and this is very interesting. This is quite different from a classical assessment. From the uh, point of view of the um, uh, Eureka, I have to say that this is not only a methodology in order to take a snapshot of the situation, okay? The, the main goal is to have the full control also during uh, any change. Uh, in particular, we have to implement a 
thin strata of feeling, okay? Because we know that uh, C is famous, uh, people and proceeding can be, uh, can change. So from the equipment, uh, equipment analysis point of view, the Eureka methodology in the first step as the so-called functional tree analysis, that is a very particular way to analyze the architecture of the systems that use a new concept that is the taking of function. Okay, the taking of function is something like a subsystem that we want to analyze, that we want to assess through the uh, functional tree. Then we have to perform a quantitative calculus of the uh, safety and of the security of course. And, and this, is, this is possible through the so-called RAM analysis, that is reliability, availability, and maintainability analysis. And I will show you. Then it is required to perform the Markov chains. Markov chains is something that from the point of view of the equipment analysis is very close to the resilience. And these are mandatory. Then, in, uh, in Eureka, INAP has performed the uh, FMIGA, that is the failure mode effect and criticality analysis. And then another very important key aspect is the surveillance and ground to ground communication analysis. And this is one, an analysis from the point of view of the coverage, of course, from the point of view of the quality of the service, but also from the point of view of the security in this case, because uh, we have a lot of cooperation with military bodies. Concerning the people and procedural analysis, uh, you know that there are a lot of uh, methodologies that we can apply. Uh, in this case, it's very important um, to focus about the event analysis and the hazard, the hazard and the vulnerability study. Then, the focus group is one methodology that is very important in order to assess the people, the human factor, in order to assess how the air traffic controllers works. While, while security analysis uh, is very interesting because we use the so-called market methodology, that is a Spanish methodology designed by the Spanish public administration, and we will see later. So, of course, the way up has the safety analysis and security analysis, but we have, we have to focus the attention on resilience because we have to read the result from the point of view of the resilient. So the final goal is also to, to draft, to, to write the unit resilience case and not only the unit safety case. This is another approach. Okay. Only to know if the situation is clear. Uh, the, the keyword of Eureka are, of course, taking a function, integration and resilience. So for the people that, uh, the new people, uh, resilience is a, is a new way to assess the safety and the, uh, and the security. Resilience is a, is a new approach that is composed by two fundamental steps. First of all, I have to know the hazard and the risks, uh, that is, uh, the question is, the fundamental question is, what can go wrong, as your control says. Then there is another question, that is, I have to know how the services can reach, in case, in case of some disturbance, for example, how can the, the services reach a new safe and secure state? Okay, this is another point of view. Very well, from the what about the equipment, the technical function? This is the main innovation of Eureka because it is a new concept in order to realize an assessment. The technical function are the interface between the equipment area and the system, the, and the, system, the unstructured equipment area. 
because we can consider the equipment era like a list of uh, of equipment artwork and so forth. And then, in order to perform the assess, we have to organize them through a particular kind of architecture up to the equipment, up to the systems. Okay. So here we have organized the technical function and the system and the constituents following the uh, single European sky legal framework. But in our opinion, also the support system are very important. That is the power system, the air conditioning and the network. So we analyze the constituents and the support systems in the same way. Okay. Only there is only one requirement in order to perform the technical function analysis. Uh, of course, we have to, to control the version and the configuration of the equipment in a very strong way. And this is, for example, one of the main goals of TechnoSky that uh, use um, an ERP software in order to have the version control and the configuration control uh, in Italy. For example, uh, here, this is it, uh, an example of the configuration of one radar that we have analyzed through the Eureka methodology. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of, of equipment. Okay. And, and this is the starting point. Without an, an ERP system, it is impossible to have the control of the situation, it is impossible to assess the safety, the security, the reliability, and so on. Okay. And probably uh, this is so important as well. Okay. Right. Taking a function. An example. Suppose that we have to assess the signal transmission of a generic router, or that is the data transmission from the router to central servers. Of course, we have to open the ERP, we have to extract the list of the equipment that composed the router, and for each equipment we need also the basic parameter like MTTR and MTPF. So, mean time to repair and mean time to restore. Then, what in the middle? In the middle there is the so-called functional tree. This is like an architecture of the uh, subsystem signal transmission. It's a, an architecture that is able to uh, show us the redundancy, like uh, through the OR logical gates, and the constraints through the end gates. Okay. So, I say that uh, we need the MTTR and MTDF of the equipment. Through the uh, functional tree, we can calculate uh, these parameters also for each node of the tree. In other words, we can perform the RAM analysis to the equipment to, uh, uh, on, the, on the root of the tree and also in the middle layer. And this is the RAM analysis that is Reliability, availability, and maintainability. These are the formulas. Of course, we have to perform a quantitative assessment. Okay, we need a quantitative control of the air navigation services. And of course, each formula has a specialization for 